David Huffman, on location at Caitlin High School, where just behind these doors holds the 14th Annual Fine Arts Festival. This isn't Wrigley Field, but it is the Cubs Dixieland Band playing in the hallways of Caitlin High School as the school hosts its annual Fine Arts Festival. The only thing this school's cafeteria will be serving up today is music and art. Unlike most art festivals, the Caneland Fine Arts Festival features not only work from the students in the community, but also professional artists and musicians from all over the area. Every year, a wide variety of professional artists come to the festival. This year's festival featured a brass instrument band, glass blowing, character making, and putting together silhouettes, just to name a few of the professionals hoping to inspire people to buy a piece of their art or motivate someone to get involved in art. Art and music may be more important than people realize. That allows those innovative people to become adults and um, you know solve a lot of the world's problems. Unfortunately, with budget cuts, art and music is usually the first program to see reduction in funding, causing art and music programs to have to get creative in order to keep their programs running. We have a silent auction where people here at the art festival they can bid on various pieces of artwork done by professionals and students here at the school. This one right here was done by a 10th grader. Funds from the silent auction go directly towards next year's festival so they can pay the artist and the bands to come to next year's festival. At the Caneland Fine Arts Festival, this is David Huffman, Northern Television Center. A familiar sound of another day of work completed. But this ordinary looking factory has one major difference. Its workers all have special needs. I me at the end of the day and show me their production sheets and say, look, I made my quota today, or look how many I made. The factory is located inside of the Opportunity House. The Opportunity House is a non-for-profit organization that works with individuals who have special needs, whether it be autism, Down syndrome, or a variety of other developmental disorders. The Opportunity House gives these people support and gives them a purpose in life. Something everyone can relate with, the feeling of being needed. Um, and I'm always amazed at just how much the individuals that we help just want to help other people. The Opportunity House family celebrates the planting of a brand new tree. This tree represents opportunity and growth here at the Opportunity House. This family seems to be getting larger and larger every year, with more and more cases of autism being reported. The Opportunity House wants to get their members out into the community by helping them find jobs in the Cal. A career group even helps members prepare for a job fair. Um, so a lot of our clients have like social anxiety, for example, or um, may have a speech or hearing difficulty. So it gives them a chance to build confidence as well as to, to practice in a safe environment. The Opportunity House also builds up their confidence by hosting mock interviews so they can be familiar with what might get asked and how to answer the questions with confidence. Diane Lockwood is 72 years old and is the most senior member of the house. I think you'd be right now if it wasn't for the Opportunity House. I don't know. With the help of the community, she won't have to find out. From DeKalb, David Hoffman, NTC News.